In this video I'd like to demonstrate the mirror and weld feature here inside the tool palette under the geometry pulldown. Now mirror and weld works on geometry that has no subdivision levels so you'll have to delete your lower and higher subdivision levels before you do the mirror and weld command otherwise you'll just get a pop-up informing you so. So here I have a sphere that has no subdivision levels and before you start clicking this mirror and weld You'll notice that you have axes that you can set here. You can mirror and well on the X, Y, or Z. You can set either one of them or all three of them. But let's determine which axes we're working with by simply turning on our floor. And you can see below the sphere, I have this red line and blue line. I know that the red line is X, the blue line is Z, and then moving straight up in this direction, we have Y. So what I want to do is mirror and weld this sphere over in the X, which is what I already have selected here in Mirror and Weld. So, for instance, if I simply grab the sphere with my move brush in the positive X direction like this, and then click Mirror and Weld, you can see that we've now mirrored this information over on the positive X side and mirrored and welded it over onto the negative X side as well. So you can repeat this process as many times as you want. If I grab the bottom of this newly created object and click mirror and weld. I can move this over with transpose, click mirror and weld. And so on and so forth. But let's go ahead and create something practical using the mirror and weld command. So I'm going to drop this and clear that. I'm going to go back to my tool palette and I'll select the ring 3D. Draw that into the canvas. So what I want to do is turn this ring 3D into a poly mesh by clicking the Make Poly Mesh 3D button. And I want to mask half of this. So I'm going to hold the Control key and just mask one side of it. Make sure I get it nice and even. I'm then going to hit W to enter Transpose and draw an action line from this end of the ring just out onto the canvas. That way I know it's nice and straight. You'll notice that I have Move Active, which will let me move this out. So I'm going to hold the Shift key and click inside the center circle here, and then stretch that out so that I get one link in a chain. I'll go back to Draw, hold Control, click and drag to clear that. So basically what I want to do in this example is create a chain. So I'll again click W to go back to Transpose. I already have my action line drawn the way that I want, so I'll hold Shift and click inside this center circle just to move this the way that I want. So I'm going to move this past that center region in the positive X direction, and then I'm simply going to click Mirror and Weld. So now I have two links. So let's get these links together. What I'll do is hold Control, make sure I'm in Draw, hold control, click and drag over this link so that it's completely masked and then we want to rotate this second link that we created. So I'm going to move to the side here, click on rotate and redraw my action line from the center of this link again out to the canvas. You can hold the shift key to kind of snap that into a straight line. With rotate active again I'm holding shift so I can rotate in increments until I get that lying flat on its side. We're going to click Move, redraw our action line from our link here out to the canvas, holding Shift. And then again I'll click in the center circle, holding Shift so I can move in a nice straight plane, and just link these two links together. And now that we've done that, that was the most complicated part. Now we can start creating a chain as long as we want using Mirror and Weld. So again, I'll go back to Draw, hold Control, click and drag in the canvas to clear my mask on this first link. We'll go to Move, hold Shift, and click again inside the center circle here in the action line. And I'm just going to move this link so that it's split right here in the middle where you can see your Y-axis green line. Now that that's sitting in the middle, I'm simply going to click Mirror and Weld. And I'm going to repeat this process. We still have our action line available, so again click inside the center circle. I'll move that over so it's split right in the middle. 
and then click mirror and weld. And then I can repeat this process as many times as I want. And you can see very quickly you can build up a very long chain to work with using the mirror and weld feature.